Crosscut Mountain Sports Center's elite biathlon team up in Bozeman and U.S. Biathlon's biathlon team. I'm here to talk a little bit about fall training as we get into some sport specific motions and a lot of roller skiing, especially if you're alone. I spend a lot of time solo training. I spent a lot of time at home in Colorado this year, not up with a team and a coach in Bozeman. And I've learned a few things to really help make sure my training is top quality even while training alone. It's easy to get out here and get a little complacent or develop some bad habits when you're not surrounded by video and coaches and a teammate and imitation and mirrors and all of the things you can have. So here's a few things I've learned to do when I'm alone. Stop. All right, as with everything, and I've talked a lot about this in other videos, you wanna start by reminding yourself of the fundamental athletic position. Your ankles are flexed, your knees are bent, but not too far in front of your toes. Your back is a little bit rounded. We call it the Neanderthal. And you're having this core, this core engagement so you're not spilling your, your stomach out and you're arching your spine. You're engaged with your core. This position, I always remind myself of that. I do a little hops. You wanna stay fluid. If someone were to push you, you'd be able to catch yourself. You wouldn't fall over. And then I do some no pull. I really like no pull. It's not only great specific strength for your legs, but it really reminds you to use your lower body. At least for me as a post kayaker, I have a great upper body but this keeps my body square. I hold my poles lightly in case I do need to catch myself. This will remind me if I'm twisting, moving, balancing, all of that. You stay, you stay nice and square. And then I just ski. Sometimes 10 minutes, sometimes 20, depending on what I wanna do. But I at least take five to 10 minutes and I just ski no pull. I really focus on pushing out to the side, keeping my hips forward, my ankles are flexed, and I just ski. I really like no pull. It really allows me to see what I'm doing with my legs. I really focus on getting my hips up and forward. I focus on getting down and loading that leg before I push off. And then I can ski along and really isolate that motion before I go and ski, just to make sure I have good habits. All right, after some no pull, I like to go single pull, which is this right pull or left pull. And this allows us to switch from isolating the lower body to the upper body. Again, this is just reminding you of some technique cues. Since we're out here alone, it's, it's easy to develop a few bad habits potentially, or just need a little help since you don't have a coach or a video. When I'm focusing on no pull, I now know I can reach out. This is allowing me to really focus on just what one arm or one side of my body's doing. I prefer to do it on a hill up here if you have any sort of, sort of rolling terrain. And I, I have that timing and placement down with my legs and that body position. So now I'm just adding a little bit of a reach on that side. You can imitate with both hands. Sometimes I just keep it down to one arm just to simplify. And so I just start to ski. I like to V1. Really focusing on getting that arm up. You're really launching off that ski onto it. And of course, you always switch sides and even it out. Sometimes I like to do just 10 minutes of each of these on a distance ski, 10 minutes no pull, left pull and right pull and start it off. But again, this is a chance to work on timing, having that nice impulse onto that leg. And I like to use a hill, which allows me to have a little resistance. All right, we've done our technique cues. We've gotten into position. We've reminded ourselves of all those things and we've trained our body to ski well. So let's go for a distance ski and enjoy some of these amazing fall colors. Zone out, go get a couple hours, but we'll check back in with a few thoughts throughout the ski. I'll get back in that. One of the things I like to check on and check in on throughout the ski is how well I'm gliding on each ski. Am I really committing that weight transfer, allowing myself to glide on that ski, get my hips up, my hands up, and then really execute a good pole plant and ski stride. A great way to do that is to use the lane as some cues. I like to use the edge and the middle line to see if I can truly glide from each side. And one of my favorite drills to do that is the V4. So doing a V2, but then taking two full pole plants before switching instead of just doing one per side.
So clearly I do have a little bit of work myself on V4 drills and gliding on one ski, really committing that weight transfer. But another one of my favorite drills is the speed skater. And this is a great drill for downhilling where speed skaters, just like in the Olympics, you see them really commit to one leg as they're gliding down the ice. And I like to do this on long downhills, especially because downhills, it's easy to just sit and get complacent and glide. But this allows that downhill to become productive, for really working on that committing to one ski, gliding out, you're on top, your weight is nice and centered. In addition to doing some V4 or some speed skater drills, another thing that's really easy to do when you're skiing totally alone is to kind of slow down a lot. And you're amazed by these beautiful fall colors. You're out here on a stroll and you kind of lose the tempo. And so I like to remind myself to go fast every now and then. And it's not only good for physiological response, but to remind yourself that technique is a little different on a distance ski for three hours than it is in race pace. And to do that, I just like to throw in maybe 10 to 15, 10 second speeds or eight second speeds on any terrain, particularly hills for me, and just really up the tempo. Remind myself to go pretty hard and fast and have that really good response in my skiing that changes my technique. Then I'll go back to enjoying the leaves. So those are some of the things I do when I'm skiing alone to remind myself to be a good skier and really help not develop any bad habits. I hope you learned something. I'd love to know what you guys do if you're out solo training as well. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you on the trails. Happy autumn. Think about what I'm gonna say. Okay.